my interest in uh, regenerative medicine was mainly inspired by a very non-linear path in my career. So I'm a medical doctor by training, and then I went into basic molecular biology. And after that, I was interested in, in uh, imaging cells. And the image of cells, and then further on, studying the actual regulation of uh, uh, stem cell characteristics, together with a willingness to apply this uh, to um, translational science, sort of converged into regenerative medicine for me. So one of the biggest achievements in, uh, in my career was uh, to be able together with my colleagues to generate a platform that allows to study the response of cells uh, under different conditions and compare this response to their DNA. This can be applied to different cell types. At the moment we're studying induced pluripotent stem cells which are cells that are taken from a normal individual and brought back to a sort of embryonic-like stage. And uh, it's foundational for drug discovery and disease modeling. So as uh, I mentioned, at present we work on a big panel of uh, cell lines that are generated from healthy individuals and from individuals with selected diseases. And the cells are treated in a way that makes them uh, amenable to become any cell in the human body. And uh, we can study their response in the presence of different conditions, mainly through imaging and then we can correlate this response with uh, their DNA, their RNA, and their protein. So when I came in June 2013, I was asked to set up the imaging capability for the Center for Stem Cell and Regenerative Medicine. And uh, that was my initial contribution. Now I'm leading a group of scientists that are looking into specifically answer the questions that arise from, as I mentioned, from uh, collating information about the DNA with information about the cell response in vitro. So the use of uh, induced pluripotent stem cells in regenerative medicine is, is a very good question for me, because I think a lot of the emphasis at the moment is on cell therapy. Uh, whereas I personally believe that apart from uh, very significant and fascinating exceptions, the path towards cell therapy is very long and full of hurdles. There is a low hanging fruit about using uh, stem cells in the context of uh, drug discovery. And also I find fascinating the concept of planning drugs for regenerative medicine purposes that could uh, allow um, the rescue of a diseased uh, um, phenotype, so the rescue of a disease uh, behavior of the cells in your body through small molecules. <music> Cell therapies and drug discovery can go hand in hand and they do go hand in hand to a certain extent. Uh, I find the interest uh, in cell therapy is uh, very um, important at the moment and the focus sometimes is uh, uh, entirely on the cell therapy option whereas uh, possibly a, a more open-minded uh, approach could be beneficial to the patients. So uh, I'm, I'm very busy at the moment finishing and, and, and completing this project which I find uh, really amazing. Um, the next step, I think, would be to um, use the concept of uh, stemness and uh, apply them for cancer. I'm, I'm, I've been working in the past and I'm fascinated by the idea of the links between uh, um, a stem cell and a cancer cell. And uh, there are many, many important questions that still remain to be answered in that space. What am I most excited about uh, this uh, job? This is a brand new center that has been developing steadily 
so it was very interesting to arrive and uh, uh, experience the coexistence with the builders for <laughs> for quite a few months, and this uh, um, helped us uh, um, working together in sort of um, shaping the place the way we wanted. Uh, I think Professor Fiona Watt has done an amazing uh, job in uh, conveying her enthusiastic and contagious uh, uh, energy towards uh, common goals. And I think aligning purposes in a team is everything to get people happy and working hard. <laughs>